Uh, here we have Sony 40 CX520 with some strange issues. Okay, here I am testing the standby 3.3 volts. Okay. Next up is the AC offset. Next up is power on. Next up is AU12V. Next up is AU12V ground. That's measuring in millivolts. Next one again. Not sure. I think the next ones are just data. Here we have called TCON on one. That one's labelled um, NC. So, oh no, that one's labelled D1 something. Um, okay, now we'll go over to this side and measure these. Twenty five point five on the twenty four volt rail. Yep. And next are all comp stuff and grounds. So merging over here on the tw twenty five volts on the twenty four volt rail. Over here. 3.29 on the 3.3 standby. Not picking up anything when reading from this one, this white one here. Not, not sure if that's got anything to do with anything. That's the thin one, which is the top one here, which is TCON on. So yeah, but I'm getting no display, so that's not on. All the capacitors look good. I haven't seen anything wrong with any of the resistors or anything like that, even on the backlight one. So I'm really not sure. I took off the TCON and took off the connectors, reconnected them all, made sure everything was all nice and clean in the way of connections. And yeah, no luck. Uh, let's see what we get. So let's take that off, take that off, take screwdriver away, take this off, take power out. Stand it up. Bear with me just a moment. Alright. So we'll just uh Give it some power. OK, 
Okay, so here we have single on standby LED. Here I am pressing power button. Press power button again. See that weird little Sony? That little orange one blinks. Now from here I get nothing. And screenshots down. That Sony looks kind of strange. And we're back to the blinking. And it'll stay like this unless I do something. Press the power button. It will just pretty much cycle and do this. Press the power button just now. That's, yeah, that Sony logo it looks strange. backlight is currently on you can probably I'm not sure if you can tell in the video and this is with a brand new power board and the brand and the new uh, logic slash main board yeah it just likes to blink